I wanted to show you Melrose Place, which is off Melrose Avenue. Santa Maria Novella, which was formed at least 400 years ago in Florence by an order of nuns. Straight after World War II and the liberation of Paris, Jeanette Spanier became the directrice of Balma. I own a couple of her books. In her day, they dressed Marlene Dietrich and lots of the heads of royal houses. I don't know how the trees feel about it, but all year round they wrap the trees here in fairy light. This is the south side street of Melrose Place. There are some French, well this one here is L'Agence, some French um, ready to wear. I don't know if they do couture as well. And I know that, I'm gonna see if I can find it. I'm gonna show you where there used to be a recording studio. Through these gates, right at the end, there is a swimming pool, right in the middle of a design studio. It's the Row, the clothing company now, which is Mary Kate and Ashley's design company. However, during the 1970s, it was Neil Diamond's recording studio, and he actually had a pool in the middle of the recording studio, which is still there. It's Chloe and across the street is Bottega Veneta and Maison Magiella. Is that how you say it? It's on the other side as well. Almost a prehistoric garden in front of um, Isabel Maron. Lots of cacti. And the sound of emergency vehicles, always. It's a Friday night. If you're in need of paper roses or anything with roses on it, this is Love Shack Fancy. It's just full of roses. Here we are at the other end of Melrose Place, which on a Sunday is full of a market, a Sunday market.